Good afternoon, everybody. On today's Business Applications Lunch and Learn, we're going to be looking at how to enable the synchronization between Microsoft's LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. If you're not familiar with Business Applications and our YouTube channel, we have a Lunch and Learn series where we showcase topic areas around the Power Platform, Dynamics 365, Azure AI, and in this case, Microsoft's LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If you're not familiar, feel free to subscribe. You'll get a notification every time we publish new content. And on today's session, we've got Chris Stedman, a Microsoft Technology Solutions Professional, and we're going to be showcasing how do you enable that synchronization. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Nick. How are you? Hey, I'm, I'm, it's, uh, it's a busy time of the year, so I appreciate you taking the time to, to share your expertise with, the, with, uh, with our community. My pleasure. Love to take a look at it. And uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm logged in as the admin to my Dynamics instance today. I'm going to show you how we can tightly and natively integrate and synchronize your LinkedIn Sales Navigator solution and your Dynamics 365 application. So I'm in Dynamics 365. I'm logged in as an administrator. I'm just going to pull up my advanced settings here. And you can see that we've made an improvement. So we've got a new version of the solution. I believe it's version 3.0.0.680. And with this update, we've natively embedded the LinkedIn Sales Navigator Solution Builder right within our admin settings. So I click on this LinkedIn Sales Navigator. It's going to ask for a, an OK there. I've already done this, so I'm, I'm not going to click OK now, but I'm going to cancel out. But you simply click OK. And what this does now is it starts to populate tabs on our records. So I'll come back and I'll show you my contact records. And that shows up here. We can add that in as a tab into our record. But the second step is configuring the controls which really surfaces right on the main page of the record. So it's great if it shows up as a tab here, but I really want my team to be more productive. So I'm going to surface that information right within this main form. To do that, I'm going to change this to the customization setting and I'll open up my customization solution. And as you can see, this is going to be adding a control to a field on a form. So I have my entities over here on the left. I'll open up my account entity and select the forms. And I'll do the AI for sales form. Now you can choose whatever form you'd like, whatever form your organization is using. What we're going to do is add in a field here and it's going to be a very basic field. You're not going to do anything with the field itself. We're actually going to do um, a control on there. So you can see I've created a very basic text field. It's called the Snap Account Form or Sales Navigator Application Account Form. I name it that just so I'm organized in how I'm maneuvering through the different fields I have available for any form. Now I take the label off the form. We want to not display that label. Um, what this will do is it'll fill that full box instead of squishing it down. The second component is after I've done that, I come up to controls and I can add a control and there's two versions. There's the LinkedIn account and the LinkedIn member profiles. So once I've added that in, that comes in here and then I can choose if I want to do this. Now I take great liberty in how I design these. On an account, I might show the top card and the connections. And then I might put another one in on the other side of the timeline that so shows recommended leads and news. Or maybe I complete all of that in just one window, but I do that for my opportunity to identify the primary contact. I do that for an account. I do that for a lead and I do that for a contact as well. Once I've decided which values and which items I want to show up in that card, I simply click on the web button and then I hit OK, and of course, save and publish. And this will add that card or that control to your account form or your contact form, whatever entity you're working with. So it's publishing that customization. I'll come back to accounts, and I'll pull up the Microsoft account here. 
And we can see that now this control is enabling the data from Sales Navigator to be pushed right to the main page of this account form. So here's all my information, the company profile, any news they've published, right? And so if I want to put different things in different areas, I can do that. I can do profile and connections here and maybe spin up a new window over here that does company news and related leads or things like that. Now, we've established the solution. We've added in a control to each of our entity forms that we'd like to surface that information on. And the last component is actually coming to Sales Navigator itself, and I'll come into my admin settings. Once I'm inside my admin settings, I can sync this to Dynamics. Right, so I'm going to disconnect it just so I can show you how this works. And I'll connect it to my CRM. Choose Dynamics. And I'll put in Now this is where people get a little tripped up. You got to show you got to be paying a little bit of attention here to make sure that the .dynamics.com is already included for you. So you'll see that if it's not right, it's going to tell you that it's an invalid subdomain. But once you have that .crm in there, you can just hit that continue button. And now it's going to work on our behalf to help us sign in, collect the data, correlate the records and give us that sync functionality. So you can see now we've we've performed our sync and we can determine what items we want linked. So if I say change, it now gives me capability to auto sync seed holders, determine when opportunity key metrics are identified, and this is the important piece, sync back in, in mails, point drives viewed notes and messages on your leads and accounts. So this gives us that full synchronization and integration back into Dynamics where all that great Sales Navigator data is being surfaced back into us. And you can see notes from Sales Navigator sync directly back. Chris, that's great. It's uh, it's excellent to see how simple and designed to be integrated with Dynamics 365 LinkedIn Sales Navigator is. And just with a couple administration uh, configurations and enabling, you have this wealth of 625 million active profiles right there within your Dynamics 365. So uh, yeah. that's excellent. Yeah, that, and that's the beauty of the one Microsoft family is that not only do these products work really well, but they work better when they're together. And because it is the one Microsoft family, this is a native integration now, which as you can see from an administrative or an IT perspective, not necessarily what we would consider a lot of heavy lifting to get this done. So, um, you know, the user interface is great. The administrator experience is, is much more efficient and easier than it was in the past. And all of those things culminate in driving great value for a sales organization through these, this combined solution. That's great, thanks Chris. If you missed our first demonstration of showcasing here is using LinkedIn Sales Navigator with Dynamics 365, we'll embed that within the uh, show notes as well as the, um, as well as the YouTube player as well. Uh, but thank you. If uh, if you're new, feel free to give us a, a thumbs up. It helps Chris and I, and we want to make sure that we're listening to any questions. So if you have a, a thumbs up or a comment, but also feel free to subscribe and share this with a colleague. Uh, on behalf of Chris and I, we want to say thank you, and we'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks.